In any event, once you are logged in, first thing you're wanna, gonna wanna do is go over here to mine, and then you're gonna go to identity authentication, and you're gonna follow the steps to do this. Now, if you're doing this on a phone, it might be a little different. They might actually give you a an option to take a pic with your phone. Now, if you're on a PC or a Mac, you can simply click the button and upload the pic. And that's really all that they ask for on that. Once that's done, and my understanding is this is necessary to withdraw more than a certain amount. At, the, at this time, I believe that amount is 500 USDT, but of course that could change at any time. But once, once you've done that, you click back over here on mine, and then what you wanna do is you wanna to go to personal information, and you wanna set up a transaction password. So you have a login password, and you have a transaction password. And what that means is when it comes to putting money in or taking money out, you need that additional transaction password to be input. This is a very necessary thing, especially if you're using the automation script that our team has available because if you're using a VPS, right, you're basically paying some other server company, some hosting company for uh, access to a PC, remote PC is basically what it is. Now there's nobody sitting there on the screen looking at it at the time, but I suppose it's possible that they could access whatever it is is happening on your uh, remote PC if they uh, were to hack in or something like that. But um, since you have the transaction password, uh, they would need that additional password in order to move money out. So the login password, if you're running the script, the script is going to have the login password. So if someone were looking at that remote desktop that you were using, if you're using a VPS, they would technically be logged in through Chrome as the machine, as the script is running. But uh, they wouldn't be able to move money in and out because they wouldn't have your transaction password. So that's the next thing you'll need to do.